My name is Graham Sprague. I'm a certified FileMaker developer at Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri. This video demonstrates sending data from FileMaker to Excel and getting data from Excel and bringing it back to FileMaker using AppleScript on the Mac. So here I have some tab delimited data. Um, each value is separated by a uh, tab and each line is separated by a return. Now I'm going to take this data I'm going to copy it and paste it into Excel using a combination of FileMaker scripts and this Apple script right here. So let's see it in action first, and then I'll explain how it works. So if we click Send, we can see the data from this field was copied and pasted um, into this range here, A1, A1. Even though we only selected A1 when the data was pasted, it expanded to, uh, to take the space that it needed. Now, um, if I clear this, we can also send data, rather than sending it to a specific range, we can send it to a named range. Um, in this case, over here, if we look here in Excel, I have a range called data. And if I select it, it pops up here. There's my selection. So, um, if I change the range to data, Click Send. It goes into that range. Since I didn't specify rows or columns, instead I sent a string. It evaluates it as a, a range name. Um, tries to find a re matching range name and, and uses that as its selection. Um, so now, now that the data is in Excel, uh, maybe we want to get it back out. So um, we can do the same. We can grab a, a specific range. In this case. Um, if we put a value in uh, A1 and I run this script down here, which is going to select A1 and then copy it, I can get that data back. Uh, likewise, um, I can use a named range, which happens to contain the data that I sent earlier. Um, so I can run that and get that data back and it gets pulled into here. Now, let's look at how this works. So let's take a look at the send script. I have a script here. Let's look at it. It uh, copies data from the global field here from data and then it runs my Apple script, which is here. It's as simple as that. If we look at the Apple, the perform Apple script step, you can see it's a calculated Apple script using a field, in this case, Apple script. Right here. Now the other script is slightly different. It runs the Apple script first, and then uh, it pastes the result into data two, which is down here, this, this field here. If we look at this, it's using Apple script two as a field. You could also um, have a native Apple script and type in your Apple script here and paste it from the script editor. That's basically it. That concludes using FileMaker to send data to Excel and get data out of Excel.